Hi, in this short tutorial uh, we will look at how we can manage our windows in Revit 2019. Um, I'm one of the trainers, my name is John Flanagan, one of the trainers with Cadline Limited. A uh, question I get asked quite frequently now is when people are new to 2019, okay, I know 2020 is just around the corner, I still get asked about some of the um, changes in controls of tiling windows, maximize windows, minimizing windows etc. So on screen um, I've got a uh, 3D floor plan opened so we'll just open up a few more views from the project browser so I'll just scroll over here we'll open up the um, yeah we'll open up the first floor plan and we'll open up the uh, one of our elevation views front elevation will do nicely and interior conference rooms and that's four views I think I've got open yeah because you'll see across the top of the view screen we now have three tabs okay and we can switch views very very easily now by simply clicking on each of those tabs and if you want to close one of the views down whatever tab you hover over you can see you get the little X to close it no word close you can see it coming up there when I hover my cursor over any one of those tabs okay now standard practice uh, if we go back to the up to the view tab on the ribbon and we go over to the windows panel you can see we've got our tile views and we've got this what fella here and I called tab views so tile views you can see that in the rollover tooltip the keyboard shortcut to tile all of our open views WT so we'll just try that okay so of course I just hit the wrong one so WT that tiles our screen and then we'll just do a zoom all ZA on the keyboard to get all of our views into focus okay now <coughs> If I want to maximize one of the views, you will notice now that in the top right corner, if you just look, watch where my cursor is moving now, and at the top right corner on each of these open views, we don't have our old common minimize, maximize, and close options. So the obvious question is, where have they gone? Okay, well, they're still there to access those common tools. For instance, if I in this top left view, the interior conference room view, if I hover over the tab and click and drag it onto the screen, you can see straight away in the top right corner of this view, my minimize, maximize, and close options reappear. So if I want to minimize this view, I'll just click minimize. That minimizes the view. I've now got three views open on screen, so I'll just click in this view on the left, type WT again and ZA have now tiled the remaining three views okay if I want to bring the other one back uh, the view that I minimized I can go up to the quick access toolbar just underneath the ribbon here and I'll just hover over my switch windows hit the drop down and there's the four views listed that I've got open the um, Obviously, the ticked view is the active view at the moment, but down here, the interior conference room was the one that I minimized. So if I click on that one, the left click on my mouse, it brings it straight back up again. Okay, so the four views. Now, if I was to type WT now, it's, yeah, it's just going to adjust the position of the views I've already tiled. I need to reduck this one so I'm just going to click in the gray bar at the top and move it over I'm just going to dock it back in there again okay and then I'll type WT ZA and my windows are retiled okay so I hope that has been some benefit of some benefit to you to um, solve some of the um, uh, issues that people have been having in tiling views etc in Revit 2019 okay um, okay so uh, I will get back to you in the not too distant future with some other short tutorials 
in Revit Architecture 2019. Until then, take care and goodbye. Bye-bye for now.